of teaching, and that's, right. that's, the early, that's what you emphasize early on. Yeah, well, they give you enough time, I, I think, with the individual workouts, and um, obviously we could practice for two hours today before you start officially tomorrow, so you, know, you want to make sure everybody's on the same page. Uh, you know, your three freshmen are going to take time. You know, those guys are going to take time, but the, the individual workouts, you, you can lead up, you can do a lot of teaching with those guys, and I think that really helps them. I think it really helps also coming in the summer. Even though you can't, from a basketball standpoint, be around those guys, they're around the other players with experience. And uh, we, we have some very good juniors and seniors that have been around the program to understand what's going on. So, really look forward to having a very productive first day. Would you, in a per, you know, without the construction, but would, would this have been a year you would have liked to have had a Mac Mackey Madness or whatever? Oh, no question about it. That's something we wanted to do last year also. And I, I think it's good for our guys, it's good for our program, uh, especially good for recruits. I think recruits enjoy that. Um, you know, coming and seeing that. But for us, from the standpoint of getting better and improving, um, it's not that big of a deal um, in the grand scheme of things. But it is a good night for the fans, too. The fans can come out, they can watch it, they can be excited. Um, we normally like to go before football games. So if you have a noon football game, we'll go at 8.30 in the morning. So sometimes have a midnight madness and go on at 8.30. It's not the greatest thing for your players. But uh, um, it is an exciting time. And I think uh, events like that are exciting. But uh, you know, we also like to have some exciting times at the end of the year. And that's what we've been able to do the past couple of years. And hopefully we can do it again. Will you go back to it maybe when they get this one? Sure. No question about it. I, I think when, you know, five, six years ago when we first did it, I just said, you know, I didn't want Midnight Madness to be the highlight of our season. And uh, we had to get better and we had to do a better job of getting um, a good product on the floor and being competitive. And at that time we were not. And uh, now I think we are. Uh, the only thing that's holding us back right now is the construction. But uh, we, we've done a good job, I think, with our guys and, and trying to get them ready for the season. That's the most important thing. What are you eager to see with this particular group early on? Well, you know, it's the first time we've had 13 guys on scholarship. I'm, I'm eager to see uh, with these guys just the competitive fire, just the, the competition. Obviously, we have some established seniors. And uh, you, you have questions about those pieces. Uh, you guys ask me a lot of questions. I have the same questions. You know, I have the same questions as you do. Uh, but, but it comes out, you know, through time. It comes out through the first couple weeks of practice. And then once you get into the exhibition games, um, you can really see who's made strides in the summer and who can do it when the popcorn's turning. I think that's important. Um, a lot of times guys make improvement, but can they make enough improvements where they play better in games? And, that, and that's a big statement. And how's, how's the problem? I think Rob's done a good job. You know, he's got a little bit of tendonitis, you know, and, uh, from, the other, from the other knee. From the other knee. And so, um, you know, I don't think it's something where he'll practice, you know, tomorrow for, for three hours, but he'll definitely go for a period of time and go hard. And he's been able to do everything we've asked him to do in individual workouts. Uh, but it's still something where it takes a little bit of time. You know, with our experiences that we've had in the past with Carl Landry and, and David Teague, it, it takes a little bit of time. It just doesn't happen overnight. I to bring up. Sandy along slowly, but yeah, well, he you know he sprained his ankle you know about three four weeks ago, and so it just hasn't you know hasn't healed the way we'd like it to, and so you know right now just trying to get him healthy to get him out of the court. Him coming out and limping around is not going to help him. He needs to get back um, to where he can get up and down the court. But he's got to be able to pick up some things right now without doing it, and that's a very very important for him uh, to be able to watch and to be able to learn. What's the most important thing you want the the three guys, the three seniors, the Robbie and the Jawan and the to bring to the, to the team and maybe to the younger guys to not only help for this season, but also to keep what they started going? Well, just, you know, lead by example. And, uh, you know, we feel we have a good program. Um, and that's because of those three guys. I mean, they've been our foundation. You know, those guys have really led by example. Um, just by playing hard, communicating, helping everybody else out. But, um, you know, we play through those guys from an offensive standpoint. You know, we want those guys to get touches and to get looks, and I think a lot of guys understand that. They can play off of those guys. Um, but they, those three guys understand, and our whole team understands, you know, you're going to have to defend um, if you want to win championships. And uh, I think that's where it starts. It starts on the defensive end. Then you've got to be able to finish um, those possessions with rebounds. And I think, you know, being able to do that against elite competition is something we're striving for this year. How does it make you feel to see them all three still here? Knowing what, what could have been or what could have been. Well, we didn't know if that would happen. You know, they're all you know three very good players, and uh, we're excited. You know, for our program, you know, to have those guys back. Uh, they're all three going to get their degrees in May, and uh, you know, hopefully, you know, win another Big Ten championship. Hopefully, have some more success in the um, in the NCAA tournament and, and advance further. You know, that's a that's a tall task. Carol and um, and Sandy and Beatty are going to keep. You know, you 
again, you've talked many times about improving the rebound, and now the guards are a big part of that. 